Hey, what's up, guys? Um, you know, I, I thought I'd do uh something somewhat different. Oh, hey, there we go. Um, you know, kind of break the monotony of knife reviews and whatnot. Just do a little something somewhat different. Uh, you guys know I did that uh my six favorite knives video uh, a while back, and it got a tremendous tremendous response uh thank you guys for everybody who contributed uh uh six favorite knife video responses and comments below the video it was awesome i mean i had about 30 video responses something like that and tons of comments in the comment section and that was just really really awesome i never expected anything like that it was really really cool uh seeing the knife community come together like that and uh everybody you know take time out of their day to make a video response and it was really cool and i'm actually still getting video responses to this day you know sporadically of course but people are still sending in video responses and that's that's awesome that is that is awesome that's what youtube is all about that's what my channel is all about man so i thought i'd maybe try a little something like that again that was pretty fun i i enjoyed it um, and I'm going to talk about my favorite knife company. And if you guys have ever seen any of my videos, you know that it's, it's no question, it's, it's Spyderco. Without a doubt. Uh, my, my favorite one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, first ten favorite knife companies, man, it's, it's Spyderco. There's, n there's no doubt. It, it's just, they, they just do it for me. As is, as with a lot of other people. So I thought I'd make that kind of like the topic. Um, you know, what's your favorite knife company? Why are they your favorite knife company? What reasons, you know? Uh, what what drew them to you in the first place? Um, why have you stuck with them? Why are you willing to shell out all your hard-earned her hard-earned money for them? And uh, I'll give you a couple reasons why I like Spartaco. The reason I like Spyderco, well, let's start off with why I got into them. Um, you know, when everybody first starts collecting knives, unless you've done research or something like that, you always start off with, like, you know, the cheapies. Uh, the Gerbers, Smith & Wesson. I think my first knife was a Smith & Wesson. I just wanted the knife, nice knife to carry, right? Um, and then I got into the Internet and the knife community, and I started hearing about different knife companies. I knew about Spartaco. A couple of my friends had Spartaco knives back in uh, high school, but, you know, I wasn't really into knives. But I started hearing more and more about Spartaco, Spartaco, and just their knife designs just really intrigued me. And as is with tons of people, the Tenacious was the first knife I got. And I wish I still had it, but it's long gone. But that was the knife that got me into them. And it was a number of reasons. It's just they're so innovative, and they're not afraid to just think outside the box. They're not afraid to uh, listen to their customers and, and deliver what the customer wants. And most companies, it, it, you see their knife line, and it's just so bland. It's black G10 with like a clip point blade. Black G10 clip point blade. Um black FRN, you know, it's just bland, 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 but with Spyderco, you get so much innovation, so much to choose from, that maybe if you're, if you're a girl, or maybe if you like to carry small knives, you know, they, they make something for you, they make, they make small knives, maybe if you, you like color, you know, Spyderco is like the only knife company, I mean, seriously, guys, think about it, maybe CRKT, but how many knife companies just make different colored knives, you know, you got your maroons, your purples, your blues, pink, how many knife companies make pink knives, and, you know, they just, they're, they're not afraid to think outside the box, you know, look at these, look at these knife designs, you know, every knife, every one of their knives is different, you got these little, sh small little crickets, tiny little knives, with this awesome 
uh, sweep in the blade. Awesome EDC knife. You've got your 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 Synthafontes with that Warncliffe blade and just that and that just that crazy Art Deco look. You've got your classic leaf blade. I mean, Spartaco leaf blade is awesome. You got your your clip points. You know, you've got you look at, I mean, look at this. How many knife companies do a knife like this? The Q. Thousands of variations. Innovative lock. I mean, this is the only knife they use this lock on. They make a lock, they come up with a knife, a lock for a knife, use it on one knife. You know? Um, same thing with this, the secure lock. Only on the Santa Fonte uh, 2. Turns it into a fixed blade, kind of like the auto locks on the uh, CRKTs. You got your cu almost custom knives. Got your stag, you know? And, and let's look at these blade steels. ATS-34, you know, ATS-55, VG-10, S-30V, um, you know, ZDP-189. They, they, they run the gamut. They use so many different blade steels, so many different blade shapes, so many different materials. You got your aluminum, you got your G10, you got your FRN, stainless steel, micartas, carbon fibers, um, uh, santoprene, uh, just titanium. Who can forget their amazing titanium Sage 2? They're not afraid to give tribute to knife. Comp um, inventors, lock inventors, knife designers. How many companies will go as, so far as to give props to a knife designer as to devote an entire line of knives to those designers? And that's what Spartaco is all about, too, man. It's all about ethics. You know, you don't see them stealing ideals from companies like uh, <coughs> Cold Steel. <coughs> Excuse me. And not even and if, if they do, say uh the Sage Two. Look at that. That's a frame lock. That's obviously a Chris Reeve frame lock. But what's the what's the name of this knife in the catalog? The Sage Two with the Chris Reeve integral lock. Um, you got the Sage One. You have the Sage One catalog. Sage One with the Michael Walker liner lock. One second, please. So you've just. That's what I like about Spartaco. The variations, the options, the, the willingness to just push the boundaries, and the willingness to stick to a tried and true design, the Delica, the Endura, hallmarks of this line. Um, most knife companies, they start off with a knife, and it just disappears. Spartaco knows that this knife is, is timeless. As timeless as their company. They're never going to get rid of it. They're just going to keep um, building upon it. So, that's just what I love about Spartaco. And, and of course, look at that hole. you, you, you got to love the hole. You can do your spotty tricks. You know? You can, you can just you can flick them open. You can do all your little spotty tricks, man. Just that hole. And just, just look at this. 2009 Forum Knife. How many companies will make a knife in a limited run for their customers as a thank you? You know, some companies, yes, but just just the options, two-bladed backlock knives, just just the myriad of options, colors, customer service is superb. The the, the warranty is is to the knife, not the original owner. Um, say I bought this knife, or, or, or I bought this knife. I trade it to somebody. That person sells it to somebody. That person trades it to somebody. That person loses it. Somebody finds it on the street. Twenty years later, they send it in the Spyderco. Spyderco will fix that knife. No questions asked. No receipts needed. Nothing. Just an awesome, innovative company, and I love them. I always will. So you guys, uh, you guys, let me know what's your favorite knife company. It doesn't have to be Spartaco, Benchmade, CRKT, Cold Steel, uh, Almar, uh, Gerber, um, K Bar. You know, there's tons of companies. You know, everybody's different. So what's yours? You know, I like to see video responses, comments in the section below. You know, let's get let's get this thing viral again. Uh, just like my six favorite knife video. So uh, 
you guys, thanks for your time, and thanks for listening to my ramblings, and uh, you guys, stay sharp, stay cool in this heat, man, and be safe. All right, y'all.